Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Pharaoh, a new era. We are in Itchtawe? My brain wants to say Itchtawe, but there's an extra T in there. I guess it's Itchtawe? Let's see what the narrator says, oh my god. You think we're gonna get to actually build the mud brick pyramid this time? Probably, right? Let's check it out. I think my I vaguely remember maybe this is a mission where there's a lot of like poisoned water events. I know there's a mission that's kind of infamous for it. I think this is the one, but I'm not sure. That's all I can really recall from it. If it is the poisoned water mission, the farms are not gonna be good. That's like what I remember from it. Or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, we're very much into the realm of the missions I hadn't played myself. Oh, no pre-building. Beloved of Ra, how fortunate you must feel. Your unprecedented Wait, I'm Pharaoh? rise to the throne of Egypt is the stuff of dreams. Wow, I'm the Pharaoh. A richer reward could not be fashioned by gods or people. With your family's ascension, Egypt can make a new start. And perhaps we can all forget the horrors of the Civil War. Hopefully. To mark this new beginning, you should build a fine new capital. Another one. Itiatawi. Itiatawi? Oh boy. natural resources is a perfect location. Using what the land has to offer, you can build a splendid city worthy of your dynasty's valor and dedication. To ensure the feats of your great dynasty are always remembered. You should build two majestic brick pyramids for yourself and your family, and a frightening sphinx to guard your tomb. Sure. A family with your achievements deserves no less. That's what they Keep are frightening. Mind, though, that some in the country question the legitimacy of your rule. Many are still suffering the effects of the famine and grumble that you usurp the throne. Kind of did. If you relieve these people's misery and help them build their homes, you will certainly win their undying loyalty. You should try to provide for your new subjects as well as you can to prevent these unfortunate people from taking up arms against you. Alright. Worth noting, by the way, that um, GOG still doesn't have a patch for military reform because the devs are awful at supporting all the platforms that they said they would. That's unfortunate. But here we are. It's ta it no, how did it say Ityitawi? Ityitawi. Ityitawi. We're f we're Pharaoh apparently. That's cool. Um what are we doing here? Okay, this looks normal. Food. All sorts of farms including flax, no beer though, and cattle ranch. So we're, we're hmm. Maybe we start with grain that way cattle ranch is an option as well. Right, of the three food types, this one gives us... Oh, we're gonna need to do that anyway, because it's brick pyramids, right? And you need straw for bricks. So, we're probably gonna want to start out with grain farm, so that we can get both of the bricks and maybe even the cattle ranches online. Although, that's a lot of stuff that requires straw. Probably gonna need a lot of grain farm. What are... Wait, hold on, I didn't look at everything that we need to do. 7,500, which is higher than the two last missions we had to do. Six stately manors. I don't remember what level that is. It's probably higher than the two by twos, though. So we're going to need a posh district. I'm not going to have a choice there. <laughs> not going to have a choice there. You just got to do what you got to do. All right. No, um, yeah, no beer, no fish. Flax, though. Oh, also, there's meadows. Maybe I want the grain on the meadows, because that's going to double the amount of uh, straw that we produce, right? Because there's one production per year for the floodplain farms, but there's two productions per year of uh, on the meadows. And um, the straw produced by grain farms is always 100 per production, right? So it's literally double the straw on meadows. So we're gonna want str well, the straw meadows. Well, 
Yeah, we're gonna want straw meadows. That's what they're called. Where? Probably around here. That's the most... Probably gonna want a housing district around here. It gives worker access to... Two meadows. Probably where we trade. <clears throat> do we get to do... Okay, this is normal. Do we get to do... Yes, we get to do some reed gathering. It's on the other side of the river, though. Reed gathering, clay, limestone. Do we need limestone for these? They look like they have... Uh, yeah, they look like they have limestone on the outside and then bricks on the inside. So we probably need limestone. A little bit. We can get a bit of limestone from these. Yeah... It's all on the left side. Oh, there's some stone on the right side, too. Hmm. Pottery is the first request. Interesting. Yeah, it's not too big. It's all pretty fine. Okay, anyway, so uh, we get scrolls. Papyrus, sorry. Yeah, yeah. We get papyrus as a native thing we can explore. We get clay native which means both bricks and potter pottery is something we can export. We also get linen. Lots of stuff we can export, uh, produce locally and export, so that's nice. Four gods, no less, and Bast is the main god, probably? Yeah, Bast is the main god. No raw on this one. Uh, military is, you know, the military. So far, there's been no announcement of... Oh, wait, meat! We might have to get a few ranches going relatively early. That's the second request, is meat. Although those can vary sometimes. They're not like the first, the original Pharaoh, where it's scripted, because... I've seen it vary, especially with the food. It's just like, it's gonna request food. Which food? One of the four or five you can produce, like, guess. Just guess. It's fine. <laughs> you'll be fine. You'll, you'll figure it out. Okay, cool. Interesting. What can we trade? Biblos over here gets us some wood and ivory if we want it. Buys gems and jewelry. We can't make money off of this, but we do get wood. A little bit of copper and for military. Although, still no invasions, right? And then ivory for luxuries... It sells stuff that we want to sell. F them. They buy composite bows. Huh. That's actually interesting. Wood was never something you could buy and then export a finished product from, right? But here you can. Like, we can set up, maintain 800 wood. And it's going to be enough for our internal needs of just a little bit of carpentry on the pyramids, maybe a few boats, and then equipping our archers with composite bows, but eventually we just sell those composite bows. Huh. And that's just a source of income. Interesting. They also buy bricks, but we're going to want to use them, so that's more for once we're done with the pyramids. Honestly, they don't... Maybe eventually we want this, but not early. Also, it's a land one, so that's pretty useful. They sell planestone, may not Khufu? Could we produce planestone? Oh yeah, I think we could. I just kind of never bothered. It buys... yeah, it did buy granite, I remember that. It buys bricks. Again, eventually we might sell our bricks once we've built our pyramids, but we're not there yet. We're very far from being there yet. Sells bricks, another source of wood. Source of hides as well. Huh. That's a more convenient place to get wood from. Because it's land. However, there's no copper. Copper only comes from Biblos so far. So we might still have to build our wood industries near the water just because... Some wood is going to come from Biblos because we're going to want to open Biblos for the copper. <sighs> oh well. Sells beer, buys 
some stuff that we don't. Okay, Buhan irrelevant. Well, actually, no. Buhan is how we get. Yeah. Buhan is how we get beer. It sells all the barley we need. And it's water. So the beer industry is gonna have to be next to the water. Beer industry has to be next to the water. The wood probably has to be next to the water. Oh, by the way, these buy papyrus. We need them. And linen. We need those to... We need Dakla to make money. <laughs> is is the bottom line, line of it. Because everybody else buys... Well, okay, composite bows are going to be nice eventually, but we, not, not immediately. The wooden beer needs to be close to the water. The rest, a lot of what we sell is land here. So papyrus and linen don't need to be near the dock. The place where we produce those. Um, although it might be there anyway, just out of convenience. We'll see. All right. So what would be the plan? The initial income will probably go from, not go, but come from, oh my god, 8,000. That's not a lot. Hold on. Let me see something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another academy, and then... Let's see. A thousand fifty. So we've got eleven thousand total. You know, last mission we started with twenty thousand without counting the uh, bailout money. So we're not. We don't have a lot of money to begin this, huh? So what are we doing? The money makers, I was gonna say, is gonna be linen a mix of linen and um papyrus that we're gonna be selling to Dakla. So we need a housing district here that gives worker access to papyrus at the very least. Can give worker it can give worker access to some work camps so we can use some of this. Maybe this is the flax farmland, and we're going to have a bunch of grain on the meadows, on the other side. I can't, I don't think I can set up two housing districts from the get-go. So I think we need to set up this housing district, mainly, because that's where the industry is going to be. We're also, though, going to need the skeleton of the housing district over here with contaminated water yeah I think that's what I remember that's what my brain was remembering I think anyway um, we do need to provide a little bit of workers here because the ferry needs to be functional if we're producing papyrus over here we need the land merchant to get across to be able to trade it because it's a land and trade route So I think housing district around here, standard like industrial district kind of here with the dock along here plus a way across. There's another housing district here. There is a papyrus industry, linen industry can be around here maybe. Um, some flax farms over here. A lot of the food's gonna be on the left side. Food production anyway. That's the first two housing districts. We're going to need more housing districts, but we'll figure it out as we go, I think. I think that's a good start, and then we'll figure it out as we go. Still no threat militarily, so we're not in a big rush. I'm going to let it roll a little bit. I'm curious to see if we ever run into a military threat. I want to know how fast we need to make military, if at all. Maybe we don't. I wonder if... Hold on. 
while I let it run. I guess I'll cut until I'm done letting it run, but let me check the internet to see if I have information on whether there's military or not. So, I still, um... Still haven't found out whether there's any invasions. Does it? Oh. Oh. Interesting. As long as I, it it seems to imply that as long as I uh, provide an answer, not maybe not an answer, but as long as I fulfill all the requests, it seems like I won't get invaded. But I can get invaded. All right, that's interesting. Just as I was about to say, I don't know. We figured it out. So the other thing I googled too is um, what is a stately manor? In the OG game, probably in this game as well, that's the maximum level of 3x3 three three housing. So that's interesting. That was the one that was kind of bugged and very slowly acquired people like once a year. So that's not very fun. I'm assuming it's bugged, but we'll see. Anyway, I think we're about ready to restart and just try it for Rio. Emphasis on tried. I mean, I can probably get through this. I will say though, um, I am on vacation. And you might wonder, why does that matter? Well, see, normally I record a little bit every day after work and before dinner. And now I'm just, I'm just recording I got. A, I, I'm just recording. Probably longer than normal, and maybe even the whole mission. I don't know. Probably not. Those are long missions usually. But yeah, I'm recording a bunch, so there's less pauses of a day or more where I get to think a bit more about what I'm doing. So you know, more mistakes to be made. Uh, yeah. Anyway, time lapse.
Okay, well... That looks a little more like it. I, it's funny because I need all of this just for the fairy. Eventually I'll build this other stuff on this side. Probably more, uh, you know, well, more grain farms, obviously, because I need... If, if my food's going to be a mix of grain and meat, I need more grain farms and then more ranches, right? I need a mix of both of those. That's just going to happen. But for now, we've got the industries set up, where I've got linen, kind of all over the place, but linen, and papyrus on this side. And hopefully, works out. I got work camps here. Maybe I'm going to add one more work camp because that's a lot of flax farms to be feeding. People are moving in. I'll be cutting until I figure out if this is going to work or not. Okay, I need more workers is the conclusion I'm having right now. So let's have more workers. Man. Did I, build, did I really build that much? Okay, flax is coming in. That's one of the money makers. The other one is reed, but they're not... Oh, I'm dumb. Which means I need even more workers. God damn. 500. Sure, sure, sure. I build a road here. That's fine. Okay. Well, inundation wasn't the worst I've ever seen. Okay, people are moving in. Still need a ton of people. At least linen is going. If that's going to be my main source of income, uh, I'm glad that it's going. Reed gatherers have begun gathering reed. That's nice. A thousand people call my city home. And I still need more. We need food, is the bottom line of it. The ranches have got... Yeah, I didn't make a straw. Uh, oh, I'm gonna need some beautification. Hold on. I'm seeing some houses not fully evolve because they don't have beautification. Um, there you go. That's me. I'm the pharaoh. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, we got linen on offer. I did open the trade route, right? I opened the trade route, and I set it to export one over zero. We should be... Oh, fuck. Okay, well, the bazaars are going to buy some of my linen, and then we should be exporting. Scrolls are already available to be sold, though. And it's a land trade route, right? I'm not, even if it's water, and I'm crazy, but it's an oasis, so it should be land. Yeah, it's a land trade route. But this is functional anyway, so it would still work out. Okay, we should start making money. Eventual soon. Ish. Hopefully. Please. Okay, we've made a bit of money. Linen really needs to start going though. And I probably should put down a uh, straw storage yard. I really should. Okay. I'm gonna put it down here or something. I don't know. Because the meat cannot be produced um, uh, continually. See? They're waiting for the next harvest. Oh. Are you seeing that? Oh, you are seeing that. <laughs> Gog overlay telling me my wish list. My wish listed gamer. Um, updated this is being recorded on august 28th so far i mean probably gonna have another day in there but yeah it's being recorded on august 28th which is the beginning of the um what should we call it this what, what do they call it the fall game something the gog is having a big sale they have a sale every season it's the fall one all good uh, whatever you know you know how it is with these sales okay we're making money that's the good part let me skip ahead a little bit 
until I figure out what I want to do next. Oh wait, somebody just asked me for pottery? In six months? I guess we might as well just do pottery, right? Oh boy. Uh, wake up. I'm asking you for pottery, hello? <laughs> Oops, I guess we figured out, although... We need to, okay, you know what? I'm gonna evolve some more housing here. Uh, let me uh, time-lapse a little bit. Okay, so I switched some of the flax farms for grain because I really didn't need that many flax farms. I mean, hello. <laughs> we're probably going to produce more linen eventually down the line, but uh, we're still probably going to be producing enough for even a greater consumption down the line. So I'm not too worried about it, uh, and neither should you. And there you go. Um... What else did I do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Set up the pottery. I set up this little road here because I figured I could jam a lot of, like, clay pits around here. Because of these little rivulets or whatever you want to call them. They're a little inconvenient, but you know what? We can get, you know, a few things in there, so why not? <sighs> okay. Um, go. And figure it out as we go. I'll go back to cutting, I think. Hopefully the extra food from here is going to help produce more. You know what, actually? Oh god, meat. Oh, that's the other thing. I turned these off of pottery so that I can accumulate pottery and maybe have a chance to f fulfill the r request, although... E. We might be a little short. I'm going to add a couple of cattle ranges here I can't really get the road there well you are not producing anything right now hold on I'm actually a genius actually a genius uh, yeah, I, I won't move these, it's fine. They're fine where they are. Getting more cattle ranges! That way. There you go, more cattle ranges. I'm also gonna turn these off of meat in the hopes of fulfilling the request. I don't know that it will. We've got a harvest of straw that came in and more coming soon, hopefully. I, I'm trying. It's, it's tough out here. I'm not producing enough. I'm not producing enough food right now. Hmm. Really, I'm not. Okay, well. Uh, 136? Oh, right, because I added these. Almost there. We're trying. There's no temple? I'm a dum dum. Also, main, main god was probably annoyed, yeah. Hopefully she's not annoyed anymore. Compliance for this. Just, uh, that's, you know, that's, uh, that's a win at least. We take those. Okay, pottery is done as well. 604 months. Yeah, hey boy. 
I don't have the straw for it. Hopefully these... Okay, yeah, here comes the straw. We might be able to do. Might maybe be able to do it. I have money. Oh. We have money. Okay. We're going to bring you back to buying pottery, both of you. I'm thinking maybe we add culture a little bit. And the idea is just level the houses even more to get even more people. But we need more food. What we need is actually just more food. And not from this. This doesn't produce enough. Alright, let me... Let me try to get more farms going. Of the grain and... Um, Of the grain and uh, of the grain variety, so that we can also get more cattle ranches eventually. I'll be right back. I'm not sure it reaches far enough. Oh, it was tardy? Well, at least it wasn't failed completely. Shoot. You know what? Just leave it at that. Does the walker get all the way to the houses? Yes, somehow. Wow. Impressive. Okay, that's all I wanted to know. That's all I wanted to know. Okay, bunch of grain. We're gonna have a bunch of ranches too, so farms can happen here. Hold on. Where can farms happen? Not here. There can be one here. There can't be one here. Uh oh. Hold on. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, one here. Not here, not here, here, here. You know, I can have a bunch of either farms or ranches, depending. And that can be a big food alley. No, that's what I'm thinking. Although, okay, maybe there's a granary here too. We're figuring it out, figuring it out. As we go, we don't need a road here just yet. <sighs> and these are two by twos. There can be a farm here, strangely enough. Hold on, one, two, three. Four, five, six, three, one, two, three. 
three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, three. Yeah, it aligns kind of perfectly. Which it shouldn't, right? One, two, three, one, two. Did I miss count? It shouldn't align. There's like a 2x2 two two here that doesn't work out. This should be a 2x2, two two, this should be a 2x2. Two two. And the rest is 3x3s. Three Alright, anyway. Hmm. Food! I want cattle ranches. We'll see about grain another time. I want counter range here and here because there can't be farms. Do I sacrifice the space just to have a shortcut? I probably do. Besides, I need to have um, services as well. I have these two right here, but they're not good enough. I need a space to put them on this end of the line as well. One, two, three, four. Oh yeah, this doesn't even fit properly. I can put you further back. Like here, and then there's a two by two, a two by two. Ah oh boy. Eventually this will this space will all fill out and it will look great. We're not there yet. We're very much not there yet. I want more meat production. Takes a lot of workers though. I should maybe calm down on that. But if we can get more food, we're going to um, be able to get the workers. Yeah, I'm trying to get the meat together. There's a reason I put this down. Compliance. Okay, good. We've been meeting all the requests, barely, but we have. I'm gonna turn these back to buying meat. I'm rich, but I, I don't have the food going, and not the workers either, so... I need to put that money into making food. I just started the mission not making enough food. Ugh. <sighs> What's my rating right now? Kingdom is not very high. People are not very pleased with their new pharaoh. Everybody's amiable. Fine. Cool. Okay. Food is not doing great. Contaminated water? Oh. It says the people went here, but I'm not seeing it. Hopefully they're not too ill. Okay, well, I'll skip ahead to whenever I feel like... Oh my god. Maybe what I need to do is just Overseer of Worker. Prioritize food. Just prioritize food, okay? Because that's, that's our problem right now. It's just food. And make more food. But I need more grain to make more food. Yeah, 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 shut up. Okay. That's just for more straw. Beef alley! With a bit of straw thrown in. Hopefully they find their workers soon-ish. They need to go in the correct direction, which is not always obvious to them, unfortunately. Oh, this thing is not irrigated right now. Whatever. <laughs> I can't, can't do everything. I should maybe... Is Osiris willing to give me blessings? Yes. Let's... Uh, dump... Actually, let's put it somewhere where I'm sure I'm not going to build for a while. Let's dump a um, 
square somewhere. We'll figure out how to integrate it to the city another time. For now, all I need is just a Cyrus Festival. Just make him give me better inundations. That might help with the food situation a little bit. Money is not a problem. Food is. You know? I'm not producing enough straw. I wonder if they changed how the um, these work, where it's not giving me straw every time, maybe. I don't know. Maybe if it doesn't produce enough grain, you don't get the straw attached to it. It's interesting. The fact that the granary is very far away might influence our ability to produce as well. So let's add a grain meat. Um, granary right here. Maybe an extra ranch. Need employees! I don't have enough! Okay, this has been mostly fed. If we can figure out how to add a little bit of culture in this area. Oops. What did I click on? I'm not sure. If we can figure out how to add a bit of culture to this area, we could level up the housing and it would be a lot of people just moving it. Meat. Let me turn off meat buying for everybody, because... I don't remember who needs the meat more than we do, apparently. Alright. Let's also put this down and just, you know, a juggler stage or something. Just saying, we're gonna level up a bunch of housing, it's going to help with the whole, um... Oh, you know, we can beautify a bunch more, since we have the money. Should give us a bunch more workers. Yeah, I'm, I'm working on it, it's almost there. We're at 500 already. We're not producing enough straw. Look at all these beef ranches. Not getting anything done. I hate it. Okay, let's go back to buying meat. Honestly, going for like lettuce pomegranate would have been so much easier. But then they keep requesting meat. Of all things. It's so annoying. Maybe I need it actually, you know what? Maybe I need to have a storage yard for straw over here. Uh, as well. To catch all of this. And maybe we need more farms. You know what? This won't cost me more workers. That's gonna be a lot of grain, eventually, you know, next season. Hopefully also a lot of straw, I don't know. More co costly. I'm not selling it, everybody wants to get it for free from me. Kinda don't really have a choice but to just give it away, otherwise people are gonna hate me. And then I'm gonna stop being Pharaoh, and I kinda like being Pharaoh, I don't know. It's like, it's got privileges or something. Okay, maybe I should get the... Yeah, I should get culture going on this side too. I don't know where though. 2000. Okay, Osiris is angry. He didn't give me any blessings. I hate it. The gods hate me, and I, I hate that. Oh 
I think I need to take a break. I need. I think I need. I think this is the point where I need to take a break and think about what I'm doing. Try to figure out how how I want to deal with things. With that being said, I'll be right back. I'm so sad. Look at this city. It's almost done. I just played like two hours getting this done, and. I don't want to replay it, I'm sorry. I'm on vacation, it's, it's just funny, because I have time to redo it. I don't want to, because there was a military rework released finally on GOG. And I don't want to just... Oh, redo it for a couple hours, I'm sorry. Ichitawe, I'm just... So... Last we left off, I had the food here. I added the district here. Mostly worked out, to be honest. I just needed more workers on the short term, and then with all the workers, I just had enough food. Eventually, I added the posh district, which... wishy-washy a little. You get the entertainment district here, you get more food up here. Uh, this was full of stuff, too. Uh, there's a lot of holes in this, because I, I keep doing this, like, I build too much. I get enthusiastic on what I build, I'm building, and just, I build too much of it. Brewers are over here, like, there's a bunch of stuff happening in this city, I'm sorry, but... You know what, if the military rework hadn't happened, finally, on GOG, I probably would have re-recorded this, but I'm looking forward. And I'm, I don't, I'm done with this, I'm sorry. Uh, I added some military, we actually lost a battle, and with the military rework... Holy, it, it destroyed like half the city. I rebuilt everything because I was rich, so you know, I was able to recover from that, but holy crap. You get a lot of damage when you... Why do I have a straw storage yard here? Ooh. Uh, you take a lot of damage when, you, when you're... Um, when you lose a battle, so I added a few forts just in case I never... Uh, in case I don't reply correctly and then with everything in place i realized you know what i should do i should have only the posh district eat meat because i'm i'm consuming too much straw it's just too much straw to feed an entire city with just meat so never mind that i'm gonna keep one floodplains worth of grain plus all the landed um farms for grain the rest of the grain floodplains became lettuce and i switched all of the lower class um districts to lettuce see this is lettuce instead of meat that's why all of these things are gone uh and um uh, yeah this is a much more stable it's much easier to produce a ton of bricks which is what i need that, that's what I'm waiting for right now. I was waiting on that and then I looked and then I realized, oh no, I'm not recording. I've spent over two hours, I think. Over two hours, that's right. Spent over two hours building this whole thing and I wasn't recording the whole time. And I'm sorry, I'm not gonna go back and redo it. Because I want to play with the military rework and I'm not redoing this. Like, I could play this with the military rework, but like, I started without it. A lot of this city was planned without the military rework in mind. Next time, with the next mission, we're going to play around with uh, all of the things. We got a defense overlay now. I don't know how this works. We'll, 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 we'll look through what the military rework is and what it does next time. I just right clicked right as a message popped up. I don't know what that message was. Wages falling. Yeah, they've, they've been rising. I don't know. Whoops. Yeah, so I'm sorry. I apologize. Here's the finished product. It looks cool. I like it. There's holes kind of everywhere because, again, I built a bunch of stuff and then I was like, you know what? Actually, I don't want it. <laughs> so, you know, it looks a little silly in some places, but yeah, works out. Overall, I like the city. I like what I did with it. Anyway, I'll go back to cutting. That's what I was doing. Uh, we just, you know, we need to finish this. Everything else is finished. Like, if you look at the ratings, it's just monument. We've even done all the burial provisions. It's all about the medium pyramid. I'll get back to you once it's done.
We're finally there, and you know what? We're about to hit 7,500 at the same time. Oh boy! Everything's timed perfectly. Wouldn't you know that? Alright, so I think what we're gonna do to speed it up a little is replace all of this with, like, stone. Carvers, because that's what we need right now. Stone masons, whatever. Same thing. We're even gonna add some more, because apparently we have... We have some unemployment, I heard, so we can afford to have more. Amazing. Please send more people to go faster. <sighs> I'm still mad about not recording properly. I don't want to redo it though. It's too long. Normally a recording session is a little less than an hour, or an hour at most, but a little less than an hour usually. That's not too bad when I forget one. This is like over two hours. It's more than two recording sessions that I would have to redo. I hate it. Especially when you're ready to move on. Not just because you're done with the mission, you already did the mission, but also because there's something new and exciting on the horizon. The military we work, which this is not the good mission for it, because there's no military except when you can't produce meat, which happened to me. The reason I switched the plebs to salad, lettuce, is I can't produce enough meat for so many people, so I never managed to accumulate 1100. And so, because I never managed to accumulate it, they sent an army at me. Seth decimated them, and the four dudes left raised half the city. <laughs> that did happen. Uh, I'm exaggerating. It's more like 20% probably, but it's 20% kind of all over the place. So it, it, it feels like everything's on fire. And random stuff, too. Sometimes it was just like they destroyed a random cat statue. Like, why? I don't know. But they did. They sure did. Don't look at this too much, by the way. This doesn't work. That's a lesson I was taking from this. I was talking about it uh, after the fact earlier. Is I think the posh districts, they need the houses to be on the outside. They just need that because desirability is a problem. Unless you, if you want to put them on the inside, you need to put also desirability. It's very easy to do with the pleb districts because you get three statues like this and you're fine. But with these, it would become way too bulky for way too few houses. So put them on the outside. The desirability doesn't need road access. So you can have a big layer of massive statues around them. And I need to just, what I need to do is optimize a way to put all the services on the inside. Uh, I'll work on that. We'll, we'll workshop that as we go. I mean, we've got several more missions. We can, we've got time to, you know, improvise something. So we should be fine now. The culture went down. Uh, kingdom as well, for some reason. It's kind of weird. Okay, so reaching 7,500 me meant that uh, we had too few scribal schools. Why are these not doing anything? It's weird. Extra scribal school, please. And then we're gonna send a gift to the pharaoh. Wait, I'm the pharaoh. We're gonna send a gift to the kingdom. There you go. Through your unselfish dedication to providing for your people, Egypt now accepts you as the rightful pharaoh and looks to your dynasty to produce equally benevolent and resourceful heirs. Yeah, that's me. Resourceful and very good. Let's take a look at it one last time because you, you missed a lot of it. There were beef here and worker work camps. I could put work camps here too. I don't know, the, the getting storage yard is right there with two things. Yeah, I just, again, this is a bad idea. I need the houses to be on the outside. This just happened, because why not? It's funny, because I established this, and then as soon as I was done establishing it, the first request for limestone came, and I was like, well, I guess we're gonna put it here, huh? Yep. That's what we're gonna do. 
Alright, and then yeah, I added a bit of military if I ever needed it, which I didn't. After getting wrecked by four dudes, I, you know, didn't need it anymore. Um, but I still had it just in case. Also, educate, extra education and other health stuff was put here, because why not? It's a place it can fit in at the moment. Oh yeah, also I needed extra clay for extra brick production, because god damn, the pyramid was taking a while. <laughs> also, I moved this here. That was, that was cool. I don't know, I like it. I think it's cool. It's not my best work, but it's also fine for the most part. Anyway, that's going to be it for Utilitawi. I'm, again, sorry for uh, missing two hours of gameplay. That would have been cut down to probably an hour, maybe more. I don't know. Uh, but at least now we get military rework faster. Looking forward to that. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be next time. Until then, oh, I forgot one rubble thing. I'm sorry, Osiris. I, it, it was probably still burning when I went through the city to rebuild. Anyway, yeah. Next time, military rework on a real mission. I'm a little apprehensive learning a whole new military system this late into the game. But I'm sure we can figure something out, right? Until then, 